podcast. Not even know. Fox has the power to update the name of the stream. It is Thursday. We are nerdly no. gaming edge lords and murder hobos in the house. I know that the Twitch stream doesn't say that, but Twitch says we cannot update the stream. It is a uh, it's a thing. I even, I even give it. I even give it to Fox because surely Fox has the clout to tell Twitch to update <laughs> the fucking stream. Even Fox sure. couldn't do it. So Twitch is like for real. No. So uh, for realsies. It's for realsies. It's Thursday night. We are nerdly gaming, and these are the Edge Lords and Murder Hobos. We are continuing yep. this week in our thirty episode long um, game in here in Waterdeep. Uh, it's, it's pretty 30 amazing. Weeks. Thirty, can you believe that? Like thirty weeks, and we've had some, you know, some misses here and there. But thirty episodes, man, that's like, that's like a for real gaming group, man, right? Like thirty sessions, thirty times we have gotten together here as friends and played this game. <sighs> if only it was forty or fifty, sixty. I mean, we we gonna get there. Yeah, with, we gotta... with as much as we RP and don't focus on moving the story forward. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. Um, so look, look. The the goal now is that each of us has to play the lottery, right? And if one of us wins, then this becomes our new permanent gig. This is like it. Then we can like do this like mm. all the time. I'm in. Um, thank you for joining us. Welcome. We, uh, we, like I said, we are continuing this game. We have been in the city of Waterdeep, the city of Splendors, for many, many, many weeks now. Things are starting to get deep. The party has gotten into, um, oh, thank you, Judge Hector. The party has gotten into the sort of, uh, uh, depth of the story now. Um, they've got this, uh, smooth stone that is incredibly mysterious. They, um, have all, oh, in fact, why am I talking? Uh, John, can you give us the recap of uh, what happened last week? That would actually be awesome. All right. Last week, uh, we actually opened up last week in the mid of the first gladiator fight for the group. <clears throat> During that, uh, Jake fakes needing to take a shit because of the sturge pie he <laughs> ate and leaves out to the hallway. He managed to get some hobgoblins to let him through to go shit in the corner. Like he said. <laughs> you could actually open your own law practice on Sturge Pie uh, food sickness cases. Yeah. That's a, that's a thing you could actually like. <laughs> have you new billboards in town? Have you gotten sick from Sturge Pies? Call Jake Dean Melshimber, <laughs> LLC. <laughs> uh, uh, the gazer, the gazer Bob was gonna follow. Jake out, but Zaroski distracts him with it. Yet another rat intestine on a skewer, and uh, he gladly chops that down and stays inside. Uh, the fight goes rather well for Team Hydro. Ta Team Hydra. The uh, Drow in the fight tries to tell Alona that she's a slave, but uh, Alona kind of ignores that and just beats the <laughs> shit out of her. Uh, as Ordeth and Cole fight the Etten, that was part of that. Fight. I should keep a running list of like uh, uh, adventure hooks or plot hooks that you guys have just said fuck you to. Like <laughs> at this point, there's like there's a lot. I mean, I got a lot of, like in my Trello board. I got a lot of of, of plot guys who just have a red thing on them that says no, <laughs> denied, <laughs> denied. Yeah, you can always just recycle <laughs> them and put them somewhere else. Well, you know, yeah. It's it's for me as a DM, it's funny that you guys like. Sometimes you're like, nope, fuck that. <laughs> Not interested. I mean, you had to know, talking to Alona, that she was just going to ignore that. Look, I'm, I'm only casting the lines, man. You guys choose which of those hooks you want to you wanna chomp on. You know, that's totally up to you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so after that and goes down, uh, the drow then tries to fake her own death with a darkness spell. But Ardath straight marks her and murders her with a thunder wave. Uh, after, after that happens, the halfling gives up, but is later carted off as she has not won her freedom for giving up during the fight. She screams as they take her away. Uh, so while that was all going on, Jake goes further uh, and opened a door with a huge golden mosaic of the Xanthar symbol. And eventually starts heading south where he finds out another room which has a gigantic fishbowl 20 feet in diameter next to uh, another smaller football on a 
or fishbowl on a pedestal with a large goldfish that a dwarf was actually feeding. Luckily, uh, Jake manages to sneak past the dwarf feeding the fish and uh, explores the room a bit further. He hides behind a pillar as the dwarf wanders around, but manages to keep out of sight as the dwarf then starts talking to himself and then goes to have a nap. Uh, after the fight, Zvorovsky managed to meet up with the fighting team and re-inspire them a bit before deciding he might try to see if he could find where Jake went. He slips past outside. The hobgoblins are actually busy drilling away that halfling, so they're not in the way. And he manages to find Jake eventually. They uh, team up to start getting stuff out of the chest that's in the large fishbowl, acquiring many jewels and gems, and one oddly shaped one that uh, might be what they're after. We also noticed that Zoblob is written on the mirror hmm. of the fishbowl room for some reason, hmm. which was a shop. The Zoblob shop was from session two, very long ago. It was like an oddity shop, right? Yeah, and it had a purple beholder in the window. Okay. Uh, as Jake and Savrosky leave to get back to the fighting ring, they do hear a scream from the western chamber that they decide to not <laughs> investigate. Uh, as real, that one back in too. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's dangerous. Ah. That's splitting the party. Dangerous. Ah. Uh, we make haste back to the fighting pit and manage to convince the hobgoblins that we need to get back in as they recognize Jake as the guy that needed to take a shit. Oh, they're not? And uh, manage to get into the stands to see the next fight start. Uh, the Bone Crushers are an Orog, a Myotar, and a Half Orc. Uh, and it starts off with the Orog charging all the way down to Ardath. Uh, Cole quickly dispatching the half mm. ogre and Alona straight jumping and riding on top of the Minotaur, beating it up as Cole slashes it down. Eventually, Ordath zaps the Orgog with his lightning and it surrenders after seeing as both of its friends are dead and asks for a quick death. With the crowd chanting, Kill! 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 Yes. What will That's they where do? we left off. Right, uh, yep. All right. So, um, so yes, the scene opens in the um, in the pit where the uh, party, or at least the threesome that was in there, are, are in there, um, are clearly victorious. The crowd calling for the death. Of this creature. Kill, 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 kill. Cole and Ardath, you guys are down there. You have the option. Ardath is just gonna stand down. He's already, the enemy's already defeated. He's not gonna murder somebody in cold blood just to appease the crowd. I mean, the Orog went. Said, asked you to give him an honorable quick death, I believe. Oh, yeah, but he, if that he, changes anything, he, he already gave up though. So it's, it's, but he's asking for a death. Yeah, but he gave up. He he doesn't earn that death by giving up. I see. Yeah. Hmm. You should tell him that, Cole. I I convey that sentence to him. And All right. Cole's that it. Uh, yeah, and, and, and you do. And as you as you, you tell him, or you, you start to tell him that, um, you hear this thunk, and this crossbow bolt fires across, <laughs> pegging him in the center of the chest. He, <laughs> and he, he falls back. And you see back across the way. Um, oh, uh, let me share this. Well, that was easy. Uh, oh, no. It was your boss. He's yes. the one that shot him. The um, the 
the dwarf that has been sort of overseeing all this. And okay. and this is a guy that you guys have, sure. you know, uh, let's see, you, okay, let me say, let me say you know him, but you've certainly heard of him. Um, this is... Um, Joey Butterfield. No, <laughs> it is... No. Nasca. Nasca Urgray. No, he is a dwarf that is uh, one of Xanathar's main enforcers. He's like one of the real upper ups in the guild. And uh, he's a dwarf. He, and you guys know of him because the um, his left arm has been, is gone. It was, legends say, eaten by a green slime um, when he was down in the Undermountain once upon a time. And um, his the appendage has now been replaced by a heavy crossbow that is like his actual arm. So his arm, like his left arm is actually a crossbow. And so this heavy crossbow right bolt sort of like <laughs> hits uh, this this Orog in the chest and he <laughs> falls dead. Um, and uh, the, the dwarf says, says, the crowd has spoken. You would do yourselves well to listen to the crowd in the future. Still, you are the victors this day. I give to you the new champions of the pit. <laughs> and the crowd's like, Rah! Hydra, 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 Hydra. Um, they're all very excited about all this. And you guys hear this, uh, this, this deep sound this deep rumble that you've sort of come to associate with the the voice of xanathar and it sounds sort of like this um the the sound of many rats moving uh many large stones that's, that's sort of what it sounds like and he says he's like, mm. he's like yes of course of course xanathar yes xanathar will see you in his auditorium uh congratulations to these champions Anyone who wants to see the presentation of the awards is welcome into the auditorium. Actually, All right. we'll just do it here. No, this is perfect. Yes, it's, sorry. Change my mind. Um, so, uh, as congratulations, you are each presented with... Um, is, 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 is the dwarf talking or is it Xanathar talking? Yeah, so Xanathar, so, so Xanathar, apparently, this, this deep rumbling sound is, like, you hear this voice, and then the dwarf. So the dwarf is apparently serving as a translator for um, this okay. deep okay. rumbling okay. sound that is supposedly the voice of Xanathar. Gotcha. Um, yeah, so you hear, like, this, this rumbling <laughs> sound as of many rats moving many rocks. And then the dwarf says these things. Um, these hurtful things. Wait, I didn't put this into a, didn't I put this into a package? Surely. Surely. That's not his name. Oh. Nope. Nope. Um. Nope. Darn it. All right. Well, for now, we'll just we'll do this old school. Right, so yeah. the um. Also. Yeah, each of you guys. So each of you guys are awarded. Um, congratulations! You each are awarded with uh, a back rub from Xanathar. <laughs> Ooh, yummy! Oh, you'd be a, a sensual back, right? back rub from Xanathar. Even better. <laughs> He'll. Disintegrate all them knots. All right. So you, um, he, uh, he comes up and he gives you, each of you, each of the three of you, get a, um, a stuffed Xanathar doll. Um, it's sort of a sort of cliche looking, um, beholder doll. And, um, it's, uh, in, in the mouth of the doll is a gemstone. Um, and this gemstone is an uh, emerald that is worth a hundred gold pieces. Ooh. You're also well, given an onyx works. trophy, and it's carved to look like a weird, like a, a sort of smiling beholder being caressed by hands all around it. Um, and it's onyx, an onyx, a hand-carved onyx trophy. 
this doesn't seem to be worth as much. The value of this is probably about 25 gold. Um, <laughs> these these are your rewards now oh no the xanathar has more to say and he listens as these rumbling sounds pervade the area it seems that the three of you are people that the xanathar could use hmm interesting Great. <laughs> use I just left this fucking gang. <laughs> Emphasis on the word use. Mm -hmm. um, and so he uh, he says, yes, okay, very well then. Um, congratulations to the victors here. Goodbye to you all. And people start leaving. Um, and, the, and the dwarf says, come, come with me. The three of you. I'll go. All right. Um, he actually uh, he actually takes you guys through here. Oh, hey, let me get you guys right over here. And you guys actually go back over here. Or, or go over here, in fact, to this big area. Um, so is the crowd, like, funneling out the, the events over? Yeah, they're like, leaving. Like, they're done. Everybody's, everybody's okay, leaving. Jake's gone. Jake's gone. Leaves. Okay. With, with the crowd, yeah. That, I mean... I go, got it's, it's 3,000 gems and a pearl, and Xanathar's going to find out sooner rather than later. It's so time I'm gonna for fuck the, out. the money to leave, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, good luck. <laughs> Bye! There's a point in every heist when the money's got to leave, and that's now that with is the crowd. Exactly now. Uh, Funnel out with the crowd. Nobody ever even sees. So the three of you guys are, are, are brought in, and... Um, you, uh, you you sort of hang out in this area, and this this door to the south of you open. Oops, sorry. Uh, this door to the south of you opens, and the the dwarf uh, Noska. I guess I could put him on the Noska. Uh, sorry. Hey, I made you visible. Go visible here. And so Nasca, um, he comes out and um, he mentions, "Very well then, the the Xanathar would speak to you." And um, he sort of looks at this door, and this door opens. And then you hear this this deep um, this deep rumbling voice. You have prevailed. You have prevailed in the pit I could use skills such as yours um, how so mm. well that remains to be seen but I have one mission that tops all others that you may be able to help with. This mission pays well. Something has been taken from me and I want it back. What has been taken? What has been taken? Everything! And he, he starts shrieking. Everything has been taken from me! And you see the, the dwarf that's sitting there. He's like... The stone. The stone has been taken. And I need it back. Perhaps someone of your martial prowess can find it and bring it to me. I shall reward you handsomely. This stone, it is green, it is smooth. It has, it is precious. If you can bring it back to me, I will reward you. 
Um, what kind of stone is it? Just a, a, a precious gem? Uh, is it a, uh, just a, a rock painted green? What just size a is it? rock? How could you call the stone of Golar just a rock? This I'm asking for is... clarification so I can know what I'm looking for. This is the stone that has the answers to the treasure that I must find. Listen, here's what you need to know. The stone is green. It is smooth. It looks like a, 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 a stone that has been worn smooth by the ages. There are three slits in it that... Well, these are the things. If you bring me this stone, if you can get this to me, I will reward you with a king's ransom. King's ransom, do you understand? That sounds like a lot. It is more than a lot. I will give you 10, no, 20. Yes. Note that the Xanathar has spoken. 20,000 dragons are yours if you bring me this one thing. No questions asked. 20,000 dragons. Man, I didn't get to hear this. I think we can all agree that is a king's ransom. Yes. Yes. Get it to me, and you shall have that, and much, much more. You shall be elevated in this guild to the highest ranks, and know even more fortunes, more power, if that is what you desire. If not, then be gone before I disintegrate you. <laughs> Cold turns around and leaves. <laughs> Hello. Um, and he, and he, uh, he says, Noska, see them out. Uh, uh, and the door sort of slams shut. <laughs> and the, the dwarf sort of looks at you, he kind of like, um, no one is he, died. Is he always so uppity like that? Uh, well, he's, well, actually, this is probably pretty, pretty steady for him. Um, uh, uh, you oh. know, he, well, oh. you know, he, he, uh, I can't believe he didn't kill anyone. That, that's amazing. Uh, wow. He's does that happen often? <laughs> yes, it happens often enough. Uh, uh, well, um, yes, I suppose he's in a good mood today. Um, uh, if I may, friends. Uh, so let me assure you that when Zenatha speaks, Zenatha has spoken. So um, his offer, temper temperamental as it may seem to you, um, is one that uh, he would value. If he says something, you can be assured that that thing will happen, whether it is death or life or, in your case, riches. So. I prefer the riches. Ah, well, if you can find this thing and whatever this thing is, this has been, and he's like, oh, this has been all he's talked about for weeks now. Weeks? Okay, is, is this weeks? something A that week? he originally had or is this something that he's just looking for? Oh no, it's something we had. This is, this is, and he starts kind of leading out. He's like, oh yes, this is, we were betrayed. There was a traitor amongst us, come to find out. Someone who apparently is loyal to Lord Neverember, for he stole this, this stone that he calls it. The stone, the stone, the stone. Apparently the stone was stolen. And the stone is, well, supposedly the key to untold riches here in the city <sighs> and it's been stolen and Xanathar Wait, he, he's, he's talking about never embers 
Treasure? Yeah. Enigma. Yeah. Yes. That, we have never, it. We have it. He, he, wait, no, no, no. I, I know. This yeah. is cold never, talking to yeah, the okay. dwarf. Yes, Never Ember's Enigma, which is... Uh, I'm... I'm sh and he, and you see, he seems conflicted. A, a, a story? A, a fantasy? And he actually, he looks at you for a moment and is like... However, here, it is real. And the key to this enigma has been stolen. And it is all we talk about. All that is talked about by Xanathar. He is, as I said, he has been in a mood even for himself as of late. Um, and I am surprised that none of you were disintegrated before, uh, before you were dismissed. Um, I think he enjoyed the fight. Uh, perhaps you I mean and hey don't get me wrong we I mean the the guys that you beat they've been the champions here for weeks now and you made easy work of them that 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 is impressive it is impressive in fact how speaking of how can we invite you back for for the next time um, I don't know when it will be it, it is well once again up to the whim of of the master but um, I can certainly I'm, sh I'm sure you have somebody with uh, powerful enough magic to send a message Sure, sure. Who, who should I send it to? You can message me, Cole Volfan. Cole Volfan. Ah, yes. Yeah, we, we will get in touch. Um, these things, they've, well, they've been happening more recently of late. Um, it seems like whenever the master needs some type of entertainment, well, this is his favorite type of entertainment. Um, and we've done this much more recently, much more often of late, but, um, well, I don't know. Anyway, uh, Good luck. Uh, if you should find this stone, this thing that the master is looking for, it will pay greatly for you, as he has as he has said. Um, so, um, tell you what, uh, so you know where to find me. Uh, and he, he actually hands you this uh, folded piece of parchment. Um, you can send you can send this to me if need be. Uh, just whisper my name. Write your message in it. Whisper my name into it. Nasca Urge. I'm gonna put that here. No, I can't do that, really? Yep. Um, and, and this paper will deliver the message. Great. Uh, um, excellent, yes, I've, uh, I've seen these used before. They are common here in Waterdeep. Um, yes. Well, uh, well. Anyway, it is it is well met, uh, strangers, friends, guildmates. I'm not sure what you are now. Um, also, no, we are we are Hydra, of course. Hydra. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Hydra. Hydra. Yes. Um, and uh, if you do find us challengers, make sure they're actually challenging. <laughs> well, we'll certainly have to up our game. We may need to to look in Skullport for someone um, to challenge you on the next level. Uh, but uh, no, we will. We, you will certainly be welcome back. It is. Uh, it is fitting that a team as uh, martially adept as yourselves should profit from that skill set. I think it is good. We will invite you back until you are beaten. I don't see that being a possibility. <laughs> Well, we'll see. I suppose it has been good to meet you, friends. Uh, how did you come? To be in here, by the way. Uh, did you come from Skullport? No, we are uh, from here, from... Oh, Waterdeep, Water yes. Deep. Oh, well yes. then, yes. Then uh, come, come, we'll, we'll, we'll go back up the, the way. So he, he actually takes you guys up um, straight up here through this, uh, through this passageway up into this room and... Um, let you out at this door here and this door actually is stairs to go up 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 these are the stairs you guys actually came down hooded previously but now he's kind of bringing you there um and sending you back up these uh these stairs excellent we follow all right so uh you're out you guys head back out uh head back up it is See that was night. So it's so it's basically nighttime. Um, it is nighttime in the city of Waterdeep. Early and night. unless uh, Zavrosky contests, I believe we'll be waiting kind of down the road a little bit, but where they would have to walk to get back to the tavern, so we can meet back up with them 
after they exit. I assume we weren't going to go back to the tavern and we were going to wait for them, so. You could always just hire a cart to sit and wait in. There you go. See? <laughs> Boom. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> the first why, loves his comfort. Why stand? Why stand in the muck? Why? Well, I mean, and you got all his money on you. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's, he's way down. Three grand, you know. Uh, he's so heavy. <laughs> you guys are in the car, like to sit. holy shit. <laughs> What's that? The equivalent of like finding three thousand, three hundred thousand dollars in cash? It's give or take. Three thousand dragons is a is an awful lot of money. Uh, yeah. You guys, I always say like a gold is close to 100 bucks isn't it something yeah it's you know Modern the your, your tavern that you have makes you know something on the order of you know minus 100 to plus 100 dragons a month so this is <laughs> this, is a, this is a big haul 30 months of uh profitable good, tavern good ownership <laughs> <laughs> we don't we don't gotta worry about losing money at the bar <laughs> um yeah. All right. So you so you guys uh you guys head out um from this this area and uh the uh, trap night. <gasps> yeah. And so um so you do. So you guys the three of you are are, are headed back to the uh the tavern and you hear a hey guys and you look and there's a uh, a cart uh sitting in the in the street and peering into the darkness you see oh I know these guys. In fact, uh, Cole, you can see these guys pretty clearly. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's your friends in this cart. I'll uh, tap or death and be like, look, it's, they, they actually waited for us. Let's go. Surprising. Let us go. Surprising? I'm hurt. I mean... Of course we waited. Sure. Just <laughs> come in the cart. We'll talk when we get back. There's a... <laughs> we'll, we'll squeeze into the cart. Cole will be like oh. this on the side <laughs> next to Arden. Or just do, do. He gets oh, yeah. in the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this has a Clydesdale pull in it. This is <laughs> so comfortable. Yeah. Oh. So he starts. He goes, come on, you old mags. Come on. He does that. You just hear. <laughs> <laughs> The, the wheels just dragging. <laughs> the, the wheels are screaming. You guys just will to live like snap. <laughs> um, those poor little horses. Oh my god! All right, so uh, so what's the plan, you guys? Um, well, it's night. We're headed home, back to the tavern. It's party and bedtime. Yeah, we have a okay. lot to celebrate. We really do have a ton to celebrate right now. So like. I mean, we head, head, head up to the library and like dump the hall on the table to show everything. <laughs> in the library, exactly. Like not yeah. down in the bar. That's right. <laughs> you see, you see Cole pull out his single emerald. He's like, I was pretty excited about this. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. and in fact, it is. It's actually shit. the same. It's actually the same emerald. Uh, they they. This is the emerald. So each of you guys got one of these emeralds, and there are 30 more of those emeralds now sitting on the table. So you guys have 3,300 dragons worth of uh, 100 dragon emeralds that you guys can uh, can check out. And don't forget this, as Jake pulls out the white pearl stone. Wait. That's not... I think it, it is. It might be. If you give it, it to very me, well might be. I I can look at it and identify exactly what it might be. Cole's gonna run upstairs. Grab uh, the below. Gra grab the the stone. You guys are upstairs. Are you all in the common room or upstairs? Or, well, he's gonna go upstairs to where he has it hidden because he's he's got it hidden in his little his little sanctum. He's and we're we're in the library, fourth floor, third floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. All right. So he's gonna go get it and and come back down. Okay. Like. We could just try. That's what I was thinking exactly. You, you read my mind, Cole. Yep. In fact, Cole, as you're running into the room uh, with this thing in your hand, um, when you when you come into the room, you actually feel a sort of like a, uh, a slight, uh, a brief. You think maybe you feel a, a warm pulse from the stone in your hand. Oh, Jake, Jake, come here. What's Hold up? this. Hold this. 
You feel that? Yeah. Yeah. You feel it's like it's it's subtle. It's very subtle, but it it feels like it's sort of like this warm pulse, like it's not not audi audible. I'm making an audible sound, but it's just sort of like this warm, very faint warm pulse, kind of regular pulse that you feel uh from the stone in your hand. I think you found it. That's one. One down. There's two more, and we know the Zentirum have another one. Okay. Uh, we need to find a way to get the one from the Zentirum and, and also figure out where the final one is. Yeah. And you notice that the closer you get to, like as you're in the room, the closer you get to that pearl, the, the warm pulse becomes more noticeable. Sorry, like, did, did, speeding up. Uh, did Alona, Ordath, and uh, Cole share the information that they picked up from Z uh, Xanathar when they spoke with him? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll okay. tell you everything that... So, uh, like, we know he he's looking us. for the stone, we know he's looking for Galore, we have it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. so as far as Xanathar knows, he has that pearl, and he is looking for this stone that's currently in your hand and, and sort of pulsing warmer the closer it gets to this pearl pearl well, type what are you waiting for like like let's put this pearl right it's like we haven't inserted it yet it's just it's close to it right or have we inserted this pearl let's let's see what what let's happens when we yeah. put them close to each other <clears throat> uh so you we already know it's, it's there's definitely having a reaction to each other mm -hmm. let's yeah. see if the stone fits in the slot so you take this pearl thing and the um uh where is the Um, I'm trying to find my picture of. Dang it! Do, 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 there it is. So this is a um, as a reminder. This is the stone that you guys have. Um, Yep. And um, so you take this pearl type thing. Uh, it, it's like a pearl, but it's not lustrous, right? It's, it's, it's flat. And as you, you hold it up there, you see that the, uh, the topmost slit in this stone actually opens. And you put the pearl in place, and it actually fits. And then the topmost thing is actually open. That looking like the best descriptors I can say is an eye. Just as as a, as a lidded eye, and uh, but it sits there. It's, it's does, just, do the it's, lids wrap around the pearl? No, no, no. So it actually it, looks like it, eyelid. No, no. Uh, somewhat. It's just held in place by this eye. So it looks like kind of an eye, except that it's this pale white. You know, uh, there's no iris. Just this pale white eye sitting in the topmost um, slot of this stone. Uh, who's who's doing this? Um, I think Zabrowski had the, the, the pearl, and I had handed the, the stone to Jake. So Jake has the stone? I thought Jake had them. To be honest, I thought Jake had them both and was putting, the, putting okay. everything sure. together. So I Jake has... It off. That's fine. Yeah. All right. So Jake, um, you have this stone, and uh, as, as it is, you, uh, you feel the, the stone sort of grows warm in your hand. Um, and the uh, the the eyelids almost sort of like just hold it in place, hold the 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 stone in place as an eye, um, and you. Oh yeah. Um. All right. Actually, that's that's all that happens at this point. There's got to be more to this. Cole is it giving off any magic? And he had, he'll hand the whole stone, the whole kit and caboodle to Cole. For inspection. I mean, uh, Zabrowski, you wanted to to inspect it, didn't you? Yes. I'll uh, use some magics to identify. It'll take a minute. Identify. All right. Um, so this is indeed cool. You, you're using magic eyes. I mean, I, I'll use it in tandem with his identify sure. spell. Sure. So, um, all right. So. Uh, magic Eyes tells you that this thing is actually magical. You know, previously you had detected magic and you got this sort of sense that there was some sort of latent magic or some dormant magic in it. Um, it now actually radiates powerful magic, uh, powerful divination magic, in fact. 
Um, oh man, that is perfect for where he's hiding. Uh, John, I'm sorry, uh, Zavrosky, you uh, you cast identify in this thing. Um, Here, I linked it. If you wanna. Yeah, no, I just need to see. Actually, where's my? Hang on, I gotta find my notes for the. Uh, it, it, you said it was divination, right? Yep. Okay, this is this is a very strange object. Um, the identify spell tells you that this is an item of it's an item of magic. Um, it. Oh God, the identify will tell you that. Um, this item is sort of a soul container that has been partially awakened. Um, it uh, is an item that requires attunement and it can provide great divination ability. Um, it, it's strange because usually identify will just give you like a clear, this is what this thing right. is. But identify yeah. is having problems here it's like it's 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 almost like you're identifying like a piece of a thing and the, and the piece right. that you can currently identify is that it is a uh, a, a contain a sort of some sort of soul container um but it has some sort of powerful divination ability um and it needs attunement in order to be uh does he think it's, use. it's usable in its current state or does it need more like yeah, you think so. Divination power is usable in this. Yeah, yeah, no, state. no, no. You think that there is definitely, um, definitely a, a usable, you know, it's definitely a usable item if you are attuned to it, but that it's it's only partially <coughs> available. Does that make sense? Like it's, it's yeah. you you haven't yet <laughs> really. Like Zavrosky looks looks heard of it's working. Explain <laughs> that we've awakened some of this. I've used uh, a lot of words to say that. Yes, <laughs> we've we've awakened some of this items magical powers if someone wants to hold on for it for a while they'll have some divination powers i'm not yet sure what they are they can it be harmful to whoever it shouldn't be Div divination you don't think so. is usually you don't you don't um power to see things yeah. locate things other things like that uh, well uh i mean i I'm okay with you uh, attuning to this, if you'd like. Can I attune to it? Can I attune to it? That'd be awesome. Sure. Uh, I mean, it doesn't bother me. If you if you want, Jake, it might be able to see where the. My best hope is it'll guide us to the other parts of it, but who knows what it actually does. I'm excited to see what happens. This is this is huge. This is huge. This is we are like really close to solving the grand game. Yeah. Like other than Xanathar, who's been this close? We know where one of the other eyes is too. You're as close as Xanathar has been. That 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 is true. And when Xanathar realizes, well, he hasn't yet realized. Well, we'll yeah, see. Uh, another thing that we we need to now be, two things uh, have been uh, stolen uh, from him. <laughs> concerned uh, about is that it is currently putting off a lot of magic. I don't know if we can turn it off. Well, is there any way to lock it? Like, block the magic that's giving off? I mean... <laughs> I've read of... of high level sorcerers or wizards arc mages knowing how to make anti magic areas but i don't think we know anyone that would do that for us or create know. the pocket plane oh oh we can we could try and 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 find ourselves a, a bag of holding if we put it in there it can't be detected is there anything else that stops things from being located or detected? As far I as think I know, lead. I uh, thank think you because I didn't want to metagame, and I was thinking the same uh, thing. I, well, I, I, I also, but I didn't want to 
to the thing. <laughs> oh man, yes. Only because I know the locate object spell, and that the locate object yeah. spell specifically says lead, box lead will block it, right? Yeah. But he would have, Ordoff would have come across stuff like this dealing at the. If you, uh, yeah, if you know that spell, you would know. You know, that's in the realm of arcane knowledge, right? Or, well, that that <clears> seems <throat> like it would be the the easiest uh, solution. To start with, yes, we should not have this out in the open very often. Though, if you want to be able to use its powers, you'll need uh, an hour or so with it to attune to its magic properties. I'll get started right away. And Jake will kind of sit down at the library and start focusing on the attunement at the table at, filled with gems. Yeah, uh, Cole, Cole will, will be uh, looking out the window, making sure nobody's approaching. Like Cole is on 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 that uh, very paranoid uh, thing We're since it's con emitting five. so much <laughs> magic. Zvorsky's gonna find some of the books from the old thing that don't look very good and start cutting out holes to put gems in. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't like gems in books. I love it. <laughs> Turn all these gems. That's actually that's actually pretty brilliant. I'm not even gonna lie. That is absolutely brilliant. Hey guys, no, Jake is actually like trying to take a bite of a gem. See what it tastes uh, like. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's it's actually. Um, you you find it sort of tasty. You find that the it's it's hard, uh, but apple. it's got this sort of um, it's got this flavor that you you probably wouldn't detect normally. That someone normally biting it would be like, oh, I'm biting a tasteless rock, right? But you find this flavor sort of this very subtle sort of uh, it like delectable. <laughs> Absolutely schnozberries. That's right. But uh, and now yeah. I'm sucking on a gem. There is. So, so you guys, you guys, he doesn't even realize it. But as you guys are watching him, he's like, like doing his attunement with this gem, and he's actually got this other one of these other gems. And he's like, like he's like, sort of like takes a bite, kind of idly, and he's like, uh, you tell he's actually sort of like gnawing on this on this gem as he's uh, doing this, and you're like, uh. I guess that one's his. <laughs> when, when Cole looks back from the window back to Jake, he does the dog head tilt. Yeah, yeah. And Jake has no uh -huh. idea that he's doing this. Like he is he's completely unconscious, like, but actually like like Arr. and then he'll suddenly he'll take it out of his mouth, sort of rub it on his face. And put it back in his mouth. Are, are, are you okay, Jake? <laughs> Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just tuning to this uh, stone so we can figure out more about it. Do you realize what you're doing with the other stone? Which stone? Oh, the, the oh so I don't even know. No, it tastes, it tastes good. I thought it was like a piece of rock candy. You know, the rock candy they sell down in the shops? I just thought it was a piece of rock candy. I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. It, it is not... worth 100 gold or so. so try not to eat it. Though I, I suppose that one can be yours. So I guess do whatever you want. <laughs> We don't want that one. That's you're good. You're good. Um, <laughs> that one's yours now. Yeah. <laughs> you um, have really claimed it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, so you uh, so an hour goes by, and you guys all kind of relax, uh, rest. Oh, speaking of an hour going by, whoa, it's hot in here. Um, uh, yeah, I thought he was like speaking of an hour going by. Peace. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have a drink. No, I do, but I'm okay. Uh, I'm okay. Uh, all right. So the hour goes by, and um, Jake, you become attuned to this thing, and, and you basically spend an hour sort of examining it, learning it, um, and 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 over this time, you s kind of figure out every nuance of this stone, every curb, everything. You become intimate with the it's like a fine uh, woman. Absolutely, you know, and you take an hour just just discovering that, and um, you um, takes a lot more than an hour usually. Oh well, <laughs> hey, he's ah, he's doing it right, baby. What? What? Sorry, ladies, he's taken, but. Um, <laughs> Uh, and so I, I sort of go through this and, and you're looking at the back of the stone and, and you turn the, the front of the stone around and it almost seems as if this um, this pearl in there looks at you, even though it doesn't have any sort of pupil or, or, or anything. Um, but you sort of look at it from and you and you hear this this sort of voice in your head um, and it's like. <sighs> J. 
Jake. That, yes, Satan? <laughs> that, that is what you are called by those around you. And what are you called? And I assume that I'm speaking in my head, not out loud right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're just looking at the stone. Okay. Like, you just sort of look at the stone. Um, okay. He is, uh, I've, my name has been uttered by many creatures. Most often, they call, they speak the word Golor. I see that you have unlocked my sight to a degree. I, I, guess, I guess so, that we got one of your eyes. What, what are you? I am Golor. That is what I am told. I... Okay, yeah, but I'm Jake, and I'm a human. Yes. You're Galore, and you're a... Stone? I am beyond the imaginings of your human brain. But I know... What do I know? I know... I knew... Things I have no. Do you know where your other eyes are? Because I would gladly make me and my friends would gladly make you whole again. Mm. I do not. I cannot see what I once knew, and I cannot see what I need to see what I once knew. Mm. This is baffling. You're telling me. Yes. But so it turns out over the course of time, as you have the stone, um, it talks anytime you hold it, it talks to you almost constantly, questioning, um, speaking about things that make no sense. Um, o- over the, the next little bit of time, you actually recognize that this thing is like it, it feels very alien. Um, Many times it's actually coherent and you can have some sort of conversation and many times, perhaps most of the times, conversations you have just get derailed off into just utter nonsense um, that just just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Um, The things that you can tell from it are that um, obviously it can communicate with you. Obviously, it is um, attached to you at this point, but um, it, it, it. it seems to be it, it doesn't know many things though it seems that it it thinks it knows has known many things but it currently does not know many things that's basically it yeah he can't see what he saw when he saw what he could see as he saw what was seen when it was seen what seen couldn't be seen as it was seeking sight to see what needs to be seen that's actually right on right on target. Like pretty much. Pretty 100% much right, right on time. I just want to let you guys know that. I was tracking, so. Nick's used to that kind of talk. He's done it before. Yeah. The yeah it's called speaking circles when you don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes it even uses many words that you've just never heard. Like words that are incomprehensible. Um, almost sounds like he's, he's mixing another language in with, but he but he's not. So, yeah, it, it's it's very strange um, talking to this stone thing, whatever it is. Okay, so once Jake's out of the trance and kind of feels like he's gotten the information he needs, he'll kind of come out, of, out and he'll kind of share the information with everybody else of what the stone's sentient. There's something living inside of it. It's missing its other two eyes, obviously. Don't know what happens when we find the other two eyes. Maybe it will remember more. I, 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 that's what I was thinking. Is we, if we find this other eye from the Xanathar, maybe those two eyes combined will give him the memory he needs to help us find that third eye. And, and like then this. we put the eye in, and it is resurrected and kills us all. And no, 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 no. He seemed like a nice guy. He was down. Um, <laughs> He's no, a we know. Totally Listen, nice guy. <laughs> I know from Vajra that this stone has something to do with the grand game and unlocking the 
Yes, mysteries every, within it. Everyone so, calls it the key. It is. It's that's what, as far as Vajra knew, it was a key. It might be time that we need to look at where this Delimber or whatever it's called vault actually might be. Well, that's what I was hoping. I was hoping that the maybe, stone maybe the would key know. might yeah. know. Yeah, that's what I was, I was hoping. But we got to find his other two eyes first. So our yes. best, next best bet is the getting in with that all that offshoot uh, of the Zantir of the Zantirum faction. Yeah, we do have locations for them at least. So I guess that's our that's our next move. If Did Devils gonna... say whether they were accepting new members? I don't remember. Not that we know of. I, he wanted us to kill them as far as I could remember. So. Well, yeah, they're at war, but we need to try and find the stone that they have. Are we wanting to go during daylight then, first? Yeah, this one is it's late tonight, just FYI. Um, it's sort of late tonight. The Even even the Spirit of the Hydra, Spirits of the Hydra uh, Tavern is sort of winding itself down. We should go in the morning. I think it'd be safer in daylight. If we're going to approach a section of the Zentirum, we probably should go in the day. I mean, probably just as dangerous, yeah. but I feel as, like... As long relaxed. as... If we're not... Guards might be more active during the day is the only thing, if we get into a fight. Are we trying to sneak in? Because I thought we were trying to, like, join up and we then were, find... Yeah, I, that's, that's what I thought. Because we have no clue where they're keeping this eye. Right. I mean, we know what generally what we're looking for. I assume it looks something like well, this eye. So I assume we're yes. looking for the same kind of thing. That would help. But who knows where the Zentirum are keeping it, so we got to get in there. Do we, I mean... Do you think of infiltration, just straight up yeah. sneak in, try and find it that way? Do you think that's the way to go? I think our first move is finding a better way to conceal this and getting a, a lead box or having one made or whatever. But uh, Can Jake pull the eye out, as Cole's saying this? That's, that's a Dungeon Master question. <clears throat> yeah. Um, <clears throat> Can they be separated now, or are they like they're they're joined? Yeah, uh, they seem to be well joined. That doesn't well. Okay. Okay. You certainly can't easily pull it out with your hands. Um, maybe you could pry it out with a dagger or knife if you really wanted to get it out. I don't want to stab him in the eye or nothing. I was just seeing if I could separate it easily. No, it doesn't. It's not going to come easily. Then I'm not. Yeah, no. It's like it's like sure. an eye. Like I said, it, it's 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 held in there at this point. Um, so yeah, there's no easy just pulling it out. That's for sure. Okay. Well, yeah, we're definitely going to have to uh, find some place to keep this thing because there's no we, suppressing it now. Do we have anything that is a thick container, a chest? Of any kind. The, the amount Down of the magic, basement. the amount of magic that that is putting out is is a lot. It, we we are. I I believe we are in danger of being found out by the different factions that are what looking a, for it. Would a smithy have lead? I think so. Because we have a smithy in the basement. Just saying. We have a full smithy. We have like a general smithy down in the basement, not like enough to like forge weapons if we want to. If somebody were to put the time into it, I installed it when we first moved in. It's one of the things I asked for specifically when we moved in was to get a smithy in the basement. I, I, I don't remember that, but I'll I'll buy it. Sure. So if you made it, then do you have lead? <laughs> I don't know. I have like, for a dollar. Well, I, 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 I'm just saying, do, do forges usually have lead? Like, do, is that something that a blacksmith would have on hand in this usually time? Usually, if they're active. I would think so, right? The various metals that they need to, yeah. you know, forge different things. And, lead and then Wardap that, like... knows about the lead thing, so I mean, we could just bury it in lead. Like we have chunks of lead. We don't have a lead box, but we could bury it in the chunks of lead, and that might. Or we could just go to a uh, a blacksmith and say, "Hey, actually, you know what? I'll <clears throat> uh, okay." 
So I, 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 like, I, I am a blacksmith. So yeah. oh, <laughs> no, but in downtime, I do want to uh, work on want work on apprenticing for it, so I can start making things. Especially but, now that there's a forge in the basement. Yeah, I didn't know that. Um, uh, <laughs> what I can do is um, I can go to a blacksmith and just ask for a, a little box, say it's something for the temple, and then that reduces any kind of suspicion. I like that. I feel like we've got a plan now. We're putting things together. All right. Yes, but, okay? uh, definitely uh, burying it under our pile of lead because, wow. In the meantime. When I had the magic eyes on, it was like a sun. Sounds like it could, could cause trouble. Yes. Uh, bury, bury the sun. <laughs> and, and he's going to activate magic eyes again and like see if anything's peeking out from the pile. Yeah, you can, you know, subdue it, sure. Um, I mean, I, I, I know we're probably not going to cover it completely, but dampen no, it's fine, down it's fine. enough. So detect magic, that's, that's actually interesting. I didn't, I didn't, um, uh... I did not remember that detect magic was foiled by lead. Interesting. So, sure. Yeah, you guys can make a lead casement for this if you want to. Sure. Also, also locate object, and other seeing spells like that are blocked. Yeah, lead. I was gonna say, uh, what's the what's the one where you look down on somebody? Scrying. Oh, scrying, scrying, scrying. Yeah. yeah, scrying. Like objects, you can't scry on if they're encased in lead. That's so interesting. Like lead. Like, I mean, I guess technically, they just took people, from if you put somebody like, in a lead from coffin, Superman they wouldn't this be is able a... to be scryed on. That's Probably crazy. just from X-ray technology. It's like lead. X-ray. Yeah, just... yeah. Well, Superman, X-ray. I mean, like, yeah, yeah. It's just interesting that that's like in D and D five V magic lore. You know, like <laughs> lead. Lead protects anything from scrying. I wasn't sure if that was common knowledge to to things, so I didn't say anything. You know, like I said, this, you know, for me, this is one of those things where I, I, you know, what do you want your character to know, right? I'm, I'm totally okay with, you know, especially if you're like a caster who has that spell available, you would certainly probably know, you know, the limitations and, and, and boundaries of that spell. So I think that's totally yeah, fine. I, I just mm-hmm. figured Ordoth would have known because of all the like priests would have had at least the scrying spell available at some point in their training. And so he would have, he would have heard, studied it at the very least. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, <clears throat> okay, so you guys can definitely uh, fashion a lead um, uh, constraint about this thing so that it's not um, not visible by by scrying methods. Though, Jake, you find yourself um, <clears throat> when you put it into this lead thing, um, you can no longer feel it, communicate with it, um, and you find yourself like it's like like a piece of you is sort of gone away it's if you're missing a finger or something um so you're not really to a small degree you're not really comfortable with um with that whole thing it's for um, the greater good sure uh and, and in fact when you like you know you put it in there you bring it back out and uh, you have these voices like why 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 hide why blind me again i don't understand I assume I can't talk back to the lead. This is all in your head. Like, 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 once you take it out of the lead, like when it comes out, like, you know, like you're putting it in, hey, let's test it out. Okay, it's hidden. At some point, you know, you would take it out and, and you hear the voice and, and it says that. Why? It's for your own safety, Glor. I. Just trust me. Do not. There's people out there looking for you and they would have you seal the way again, whereas I am trying to free you. Just trust me, we need to protect you, and this is the best way to do so. You are freeing me by restraining me. Until we get your other two eyes. Me. I do not under... And you're like, stick it back in the lead. He's like, I do. <laughs> and it does. And it's like, stone. I just like put the lead around him. It's like, it's like static. It's like, I do not. And then once he's completely concealed, it, it actually it forms a barrier um, from the thoughts. So, um... So I guess while it's in there, you are like you're still attuned to it, but you can't use it or benefit from it in in any in any way. So um, we'll we'll go with that. I think I was benefiting from it in any way to begin with. So (laughs) on page one, this is a mysterious thing. Uh, There's a lot of a lot about this thing that you guys don't yet know. So I'll just 
put that out there. Um, you definitely find, like I said, you find yourself missing it when it's not there. Um, you feel like it's sort of a, a, a part of you now that like, um, it, it, it's almost like part of your brain is sort of shielded off where you're like, Oh shoot. Cause it talks to you. And like, it's got this sort of alien thing where it's continuously talking and, and, and kind of asking and telling and asking and telling. And it's like, ah, but you realize that it's like, there's a lot of information there, right? There's like, it's like, like it's like being connected to the internet. Right. And when you put this thing in there, it's like, you've lost your internet connection. So it doesn't actually hurt you, but like you've, 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 walled yourself off from this connection to this amazing repository of information that you can't quite understand and access completely, but it's there and you know, it's there and you're sort of like cutting off your, your Wi-Fi to your internet connection. Freaking bringing that shit modern, brah. What? Come on. Boom. <laughs> Talking in terms we can understand. Nah, I'm talking. All right, so um, let's see. We're gonna, take a, we're gonna take a break here soon. What's the plan? What's the uh, trajectory of the party now? The Zentirum. Going to the other alley. The other alley? Going after that other eye. Where? Like, I don't. I mean, I'm gonna need more the, specifics. The Manshun factions place that you gave us a location for through Davos. The old tower. Yeah. He said there was an old tower that he suspected was a uh, uh, outpost, sort of a, a base of operations for the Zentarum. Uh, he told you to be very careful with that, but uh, he suggested that he thought that that might be a an in into the Zentarum people or Zentarum organization. All right, I'll buy that. We can go there. Um, all right, let's take a break. Let's take five. Um, we'll go uh, relieve our bladders and refill our cups, and we will come back and find out if we can make any more progress towards another eye in this other's entire. And this is this was like a couple of things together, right? So like the eye is cool, but this has been a long time uh, sort of story arc with um, with your buddy Dabble because this has been they've been kind of duking it out or, or something like that, duking it out with this other. Uh, Zentarum faction, these, these sort of splinter faction of the Zentarum. Um, so I'm curious to see see what this might what might prevail. We'll take five. Come on back and join us, and we'll find out what that looks like here in just a few minutes.
Oh, you don't like her either? <laughs> you know what? Hey, we're back. They we're are back. not welcome. We're back, and we're definitely not talking politics because it's yeah. Thursday night. Uh, but I want to talk politics. <laughs> so this is this is like the, the thing in my life. Thursday night. The thing in my life I like most, like that, that most draws me as a person, is talking politics. I love it. I thrive on it. I like. I need it, you know, and um, and it, which is horrible, of course, right? Because it's like the best way to end friendships and split families and everything else. But That's um, right. I don't like any of you guys anyway, so let's do it. But it's also how you how you find your friends, <laughs> right? Like I read I read this thing a million years ago that the um, the number one indicator of long term relationship stability is not religion as we thought it was. It is actually political views, right? If you and your partner share political views, then you're going to stay together much you're more likely to stay together than if you have disparate, separate um, political views. I believe it because I think that politics really shapes us as people. Um, All right. God, I really so want to talk politics. Back into this game. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ugh, fine. Fine. I just want to talk politics now. I just want to like talk. Okay. No. Uh, it's a different show. Damn it. Yeah. Fuck. That's for shit. the podcast later. I right, bees. Our bees. We're going to talk politics, bees, later. Not tonight, later, but like. I don't know. Later, later. Why, we can't, why can't we talk? Why can't we talk? I mean, we can. Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm giving you the, uh, the, 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 the what you call it? The, the, fuck is the word I'm looking notice. for. Yeah, hey, I'm giving you the, the, the disclaimer now. That's a. But yeah, Angelo's murder hobos. All right, we're here. But here's one thing. I'll leave you. I'll leave Despite you guys. what the title says. I'll leave you guys with this idea. Oh yeah, Grognards. Oh. I'll leave you guys with this idea about talking politics. Remember that it is. I know it doesn't seem like it, but it is actually possible to disagree with someone about politics and still talk about it and. Nope, if Be I friends. disagree with you, I'm talking all sorts of shit about your mother. So get See? Ready. See, and that's Love the you. thing, right? It doesn't have to be that way. We can <laughs> we can talk politics. We can disagree on politics and still love one another. Take that. <laughs> As the scene opens here in the city of Waterdeep. The party, the next morning, I guess. Um all right, so what's the standing with the stone? So the standing with the stone is that you guys have made some sort of box, I guess, full of lead, and you keep the stone buried in this box, so it's like separated from from yeah, you geez. and. Okay, fine. Um, and uh, Jake, you're still carrying that box. I'm not carrying the box with us. No, no, we keep it. Leave no, that no, at that, the that, place. That's, no, that's that's oh, buried at the place. in our in our pile of ingots. Yeah, hmm. that's. That's hidden away at the within the box at the uh, tavern. All right, in the box that has a whole um, hundred uh, gems in or thirty. Well, the the gems are in the, the box. Is, the gems are in books in the library. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Gems are separated in books. That's that's so clever, by the way. I love it. Okay, <laughs> keep up, so, man. Keep up. We're um, gonna get crazy here. Gotcha. All right, so it's a heist. Um, <laughs> so you guys are headed to the old tower. Um, this um, <clears throat> yeah so as you get to this tower uh, you see that the the outside of the tower ah come on uh, so this is the tower and it's set in an, um, an old part of town kind of away from other buildings and such uh, there's this big open area um, as you approach this tower, you notice that the, the tower is encircled by a wooden scaffolding. And the as you get closer, uh, you don't see this from a distance, but as you get actually approach a tower, you notice that along the edges of the scaffolding, like where it's touching the uh, tower itself and such, um, it's covered in frost. It seems like there's like a layer of frost um, and actually it's tiny icicles kind of hanging from, the, from below this scaffolding that sort of encircles this tower from the outside. Uh, there's an obvious door um, in the front. Should we? You want to long rest this, Ray? Oh, uh, I can do that. Yeah, sure. Hit me with that long rest. 
<laughs> and Zvorsky would give everyone some uh, good old mantle of inspiration. Oh, mm. the old mantle. It feels good on my body. <laughs> it's, it's so warm. Flam. To start the day, we're invigorated by the fey oh. magic that spreads off of Zorowski's body. What's what's that spreading off of Zorowski's body? Uh, fey magic. Hug. Oh, fey magic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A warm hug is what it is. It, yeah, it wraps around you like a warm hug. That you then sniff in and stimulate. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a shot of coke <laughs> as you sniff it. That's great. That's great. <laughs> wait, who's talking about having some good? Uh, no, wait, never mind. Never mind. That's another conversation we're gonna have later. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, all right. So yeah, uh, you're in, the, in this sort of uh, forgotten uh, segment of town. The foot traffic around this place is very, very small, and you. Um, is that me with the background sound? Possibly. Sounds like you. Birds chirping? I like it. I just don't know where it's coming from. It was. It was a sirenscape. Ooh. Hmm. Abandoned lunatic asylum. Yes, that's actually... <laughs> that's where we are. Perfect. Perfect! Um, sorry, yeah. So you guys uh, come to this uh, tower. Yeah. So it seems. Um, well, what was the plan? Are we going to announce ourselves as heroes, Jake? <laughs> no, worry. not this time. Don't worry, we're heroes. <laughs> Definitely not going to help us this time. But we are approaching in the open, I assume. Well, I mean, it depends. How are we going about this? Are we going to Rusty and... starts putting the pirate cap on and the patch. <laughs> Yar! <laughs> are we going to start trying to uh, infiltrate them? Or are we just going to try and sneak in and find out what we're looking for that way? There's two ways we can go about this. We can just go in there, balls to the wall, let's kill them all, and we'll take names later and figure out where we need to get things. Or are we just uh, try and sneak in there? Earn their confidence and find what we look look for with uh, the subterfuge. Dealer's choice. I really could go for either one. I will uh, defer to the group's uh, decision. Uh, I'm okay. Also okay with either uh, approach. I will kill as many things as need be. Pretty much. I mean, maybe we can talk past the guards though you you've been with gangs before what do you think would they have a passphrase here as well you think more uh, than likely but we don't know that passphrase uh, and by the way this tower is is small um we're talking like maybe 40 feet diameter total so it's not like a a, a big sprawling complex um it's about 30 feet tall but um relatively small Uh, Jake got an inspiration, by the way. Jake did. Ooh. Oh, baby. Snap. Judge Hector taking care of Jake. You know. How am I going to kill Jake if you keep giving him, giving him inspiration? Exactly. He, he needs them. <laughs> Jake's bulletproof. Fine. <laughs> as long as he's got those inspos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as long as he keeps a well of inspiration at his... <laughs> And it's back in cold. Yeah. Are, are we able to see close to the front to see how many people might be there? Yeah. Like, it, it, do they have somebody at the door? Does it Come look on, like there's people this tower. looking just, out at the windows? Doesn't seem like it. Um, <clears throat> there are, um, on the second floor, there are very, very tall, narrow windows, like arrow slits, really. But you don't see any activity coming up there. It looks like this place is just closed off. The front door is closed. You don't see any activity from any of those those small narrow windows at all and the frost is not 
is very odd for this time of year, I'm assuming. Absolutely. It's, it's, it's warm. Um, you guys are in a very warm time of the year, but the frost is, like I said, it, it's only very, very close to the tower. Um, the scaffolding sort of shows it. It's like the scaffolding is, is uh, the catalyst that sort of like exposes the frost there. Um, but yeah, this definitely should not. That's a weird thing. Well, we can always just try the door. Are we, uh, are we workers here to fix up some things from the scaffolding? What, what do we have a story, or do we just not care? Uh, <laughs> let's wing it. Let's go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Who's opening Famous the door? Last words. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe we. Hello, we're heroes. <laughs> You're Don't knocking on the door. We're heroes. <laughs> Does Cole actually choose? Oh, no. no. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. I'm just trying to... L let me know the actual action. Seeing as it's very cold, perhaps we should take a look to make sure we don't freeze on touching the door. <clears throat> get close to the door. Does he feel any cold from the door? Um, You have to get really close, but yeah, the, the door actually is very cold. The door... Like, not painfully cold, but the door is like... Whatever is on the other side of this door, it feels very cold in there. Not, again, not like you're going to die if you go in there. But the door is cold, um, which is incredibly strange. These guys have a great AC system. Yeah, like, like the yes, the best AC system ever. They got the thermostat set to like 60, 58, mm. and it's working Ooh. some kind of way. There's no <laughs> one inside. Yeah. <laughs> uh, should we knock? So Rusty's going to at least give the door a quick look over for anything that might Yeah, hurt uh, it doesn't anybody. Sure. Um, the door... Oh, yeah. Uh, it's like looking for a trap. Yeah, it's, it's not trapped, uh, but it is locked. So it, the door is cold and locked. It doesn't, it doesn't open to your true touch. It seems to be, uh, it seems to be locked. Jake, perhaps you have a magic key. I always have a magic key as he pulls out his <laughs> lockpicks. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, okay, so lockpicks. Actually, you know what? I don't trust doors. A door killed my father. Um, I'm going to use my mage hand to lockpick this door. So it just means right. I can stand 30 feet back. If, if Jake's standing that. back while it's opening, <laughs> yeah. he's you cannot. Ten, you cannot use Mage Hand to lock pick. No, Mage Hand cannot um, do skill yeah, checks. Yeah, that's, no, well, you that's cannot. The, yeah. That's that's my special abilities. That's what but, I do. That's his so, whole arcane trickster thing. Yeah, that's, that's, that's part of the subclass. It's invisible and it picks locks and panties, if you remember correctly. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I remember the panties, but seriously, this yep. invisible hand does lots of magic things. It's a good subclass. Yeah. So, all right. Note to self for future characters. <laughs> all right. Tw Twenty-eight would be the, the uh, lockpick. Wow. Woo! Yeah. Uh, well, that's pretty easy. You're like, dude, come on, <laughs> please. <laughs> it's like, get out of here. Uh, all right. That's really cool. Mage hand for picking locks. This is actually my new favorite thing. Um, okay. So you guys find yourselves. Um, with the door unlocked. Shall we? And Cole starts walking in. <laughs> Open the door. All right, let's see. How do I... Um... Well, following Cole's suit, but like a couple steps behind. Yeah, I want to see what explodes on my face. <laughs> <laughs> That's what... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I said. Uh oh, I did that backwards. Crap. Hold on. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I did that backwards. Uh, let's see. I'm drawn. Just 
stuff. Sorry, I think that works. All right, share. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, tapestries. Tapestries, tapestries. We'll call them tapestries. Pastries? Who's baking? Or, or pastries. I like them. I'm hungry. Uh, <laughs> They're on the walls. Uh, it's a Zavrowski and Ordath. <laughs> All right, you guys can put yourselves where you need to be. <clears throat> this is the uh, tower. You've opened the door to this tower. This <coughs> this um, is a, a an empty room. Um, there are old armament uh, shelves along the walls, like um, racks that could hold weapons and such like that. But they're they're currently empty. There's nothing going on in here. Although, uh, who has a passive perception of 15 or higher? Hmm. Could say on. Oh, yeah, I could look. Hey. Nope, I'm only 14. Oh, no, none of us. Lona, I'm, on, I'm underage. All right, go ahead and roll me perception checks then. Ooh. For those of you entering the room. As you enter the room, roll me a perception check. Hmm. Nineteen. Cool. All right. Uh, Cole, you absolutely as you as you come into this place, you like this plea and this room is empty, but there's a door to the south of you that is closed. Um, and in it, it's quiet. Oh, and as you come in here, it's cold. Like actually cold. It's like walking into the freezer section at Costco, right? It's it's actually like freezing cold. Not damaging cold, but if you spend a lot of time in here, you are absolutely going to be going to need winter clothing. It, it, it's freezing in here. Um, and you're like, whoa! And you're, you're kind of taken in this room, and you hear to the south of you, you hear this sort of low chanting. Um, you can't make out anything anybody's saying, but you can hear this sort of rhythmic sort of chanting that sounds like voices of people uh, chanting, and then that sort of... Uh, and uh, I can hear that from where I'm at, that far away from the door? Yeah, yeah. This is like, as you as you come in, you're sort of taking all this in. It's cold, there's weapon racks, but yeah. on the other side of the door to the south, there's this sort of... Uh, like and again, this is it's it's low. You, if you didn't make a really good perception check, you wouldn't have heard it. Um, there's a sort of rhythmic chanting, and then this is sort of like low moaning. In fact, that's kind of what caught your attention. Is just like, mm, uh, and you hear this moan, um, and you what? But you know, clearly coming from the south door. If you needed to, okay, uh, get a better we'll, listen we'll, or something, we'll peek, we'll peek his head back out to to everybody else and be like, hey. It sounds like there is some chanting and somebody possibly injured inside. Probably be quick before they finish whatever they're doing. Do you think we should storm inside? What if they're killing that person? Uh, no time to discuss it, guys! Okay. Boom! Okay. In, in Lotus style, way. door kick! <laughs> All right, Jake. I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a strength check to knock down this door. We'll call it athletics <laughs> if you want. Gonna see Jake just pancake against the door. I'm Elona. <laughs> ah! Can I make it an athletics check? Come on, Jake. Can I make it an athletics check? Come on, Jake. Does that mean no? Yeah. Roll it. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I was. Cheer- I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. I was cheering for you to roll it to. Fourteen. Um, it's gonna be the I'm not even. This door is not locked, crazy. actually. Yeah, so you, you can. Uh, this door actually Sweet. does work. You're like, <clears throat> and like, bah! Chicken and doors. The door sort of make it a load of proud. Kicks open. Um, uh, let's see. Well, let's just do. This is easy. Eh, eh. In this room. In this room. We call home. There's a man standing there with a big bag of big black dildos. And he <laughs> asks you if you'd like to come to a party. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to see flying dildos? Uh-oh. Wait, I did that wrong. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, oh you, my have God. You, have no. you heard that? that yeah, oh, I know exactly. I know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, man. No, I do not want to see flying dildos. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Never. <laughs> 
flying dildos, flying dildos. <laughs> the crowd turned on me. <laughs> it's so funny. All right. It's so one of the best stories. Uh, that and the machine. Yeah, the so machine. Yeah, that I was about to say. That and the machine. So good. I really gotta get my maps done sooner. Sorry, guys. Hey, you are. Ha 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 ha! Oh, oh, oh yeah. Uh oh, it's mad. Killing it. You know. I think it's alone a would be proud of Jake right now. What? Did, did Balrog? No! <laughs> you dead. shall not pass! Where's my, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Oh. Fly, you fools. Fly. Man, I gotta watch that. I haven't seen that in so many years. It's kind of crazy. Truth be told. Okay, in this room, you see Jake as you kick open the door. Um, there are, let's see, that person, that person, that person, that person. Unidentified creatures all that, over. Ha ha! <laughs> yeah, it turns out I can hide them. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> Wait. Uh oh. Oh, there's that. There's an S in there. Hold on. Maybe that S is the, the moaning Oops. person. Actually, the S is supposed <laughs> to be there. Uh, S is there. Where is son of a beasting ground son of big chick? Oh, oh, hey, hurt. <sighs> These oh. are not my creatures. Is one, your mother one, with five, that now? One, two, three, one. But what am I missing? I'm missing my. Don't tell us what it is yet. I like the. Where did I put that Tarask? <laughs> <laughs> under, it's under the city. Oh, shnikey. That's because I... It can only be awoken with an anti-magic field. What? Ah, there we go. There we go. All right, that's how it should be. Yes. All right, so, Jay, hey, Jay, get back in front of the door. Um, He's there. I did a little banging breach. You kicked the door, kicked it off to the side. All right, so these you are um, humans, in fact. All of these are humans. So the scene that you open the door upon is that there is a, um, a, uh, a male, a male human who is shackled and in chains in the middle of these other four humans. These four humans are sort of chanting this. You can't quite understand what they're saying. Um, and the, the person in the middle is sort of like he, he's lying on the ground, but, but shackled and like moaning. Uh, 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 um, and this is the scene you walk in on. Sweet. Excuse me, gentlemen. Do you have a permit to uh, sacrifice this man? Oh, geez. Is there any way to... Yes, we are the ritual inspectors. <laughs> We're going to need your we ritual the permit R. I. for this. <laughs> um, the RIA? Association? <laughs> Age, I was going to agency, but yeah. <laughs> Same thing. Ritual inspection agency? Association? Agency association? association. <laughs> That shit. <laughs> yeah. So the um, the the people all look at you like, what? Who? What you? And um, the person to the south uh, sort of looks at and she's like, we must roll initiative. Uh, but I don't want to. Oh man. <clears throat> you guys are gonna steamroll these guys. <laughs> <laughs> It's just way to say, okay, you guys kill them all. What do you want to do now? <laughs> yeah. Um, the, um, the, the person at the south, uh, it's, it's a woman, in fact, um, and she has uh, this, this shocking red hair. 
And all these um, A people are wearing similar go garbs. In fact, they're wearing winter clothing. You can see they're wearing like fur coats and such like that. Because um, it's, it's very cold in here. And uh, she looks they're at you. Furries. And uh, she says, This is none of your business. Be gone. Or we will destroy you. Is, there, is that stairs in the center? Or is this like yes, the stairs that go up to the other, the upper level of this uh, tower. Jake well, looks uh, cool. Yeah. We, we heard a ritual, uh, uh, and we don't see a permit on the door, so we just came to see if you had the proper paperwork. Unless this is your standard bloodletting, in which case you don't need the permits in this sectum. Is this a bloodletting? It doesn't uh, look like a bloodletting. This looks like a full-blown ritual. This <laughs> <laughs> Stage two. <laughs> Um, she looks confused. Um, do you have the paperwork or not? Let's Listen, see. I'm going to have to go upstairs and see what else is going on. We can't trust anything that's going right. on now. I got, you have no permits. I don't know what's going on here. Just hold on to your ritual for a second. I'm going to go upstairs and take a look at what's going on. Guys, come on. We got we to inspect everything that's going on. Make sure. All right. That's maybe stop, get you a quick right, permit. Stop, 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 stop. All right. That's the initiative. She's like, that's it. Kill them. Kill them all. <laughs> Uh, hey, we try to do this peacefully. Let it be known. So, no paperwork then? <laughs> they we don't need no stinking fight when they don't have the paperwork. Badges? We don't need no stinking badges. All right. It's we actually have badges if they would have asked. We would have been <laughs> black staff and the gray hand and everything. Mm, man. They should have asked and we should have shown our badges. Oh, initiative, right? Yeah, it's initiative. And you guys are um, you guys are cold, by the way. Cold, 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 cold. The longer you spend in here, it's going to start affecting you. Just FYI. Uh, speaking of cold, Cole, you are way at the top of the initiative order. As she's yeah, like, cool. kill them! And all these, uh, all these acolytes that are sitting around there, they like sort of drop um, their chants, and they look at you, and they... Or reach for weapons. Okay, uh, Cole is going to summon his sword, but he's not going to summon the regular katana. He's going to summon the great sword version. Ooh. Ooh. All right. That's no way. And uh, he's going to run to the lady that said, fuck him up, and he's going to chop her up. Oh, my poor NPCs. And that guy on the floor is probably not hostile. You don't know. You don't know that. You don't know me. Does he seem to be reaching for a weapon to kill us? <laughs> <laughs> he does not seem to be reaching for a weapon to kill you. Does a 23 hit this lady? Yes. Yes, on. fine. A 23 hits this lady. Damn it. Oh! oh! Oh, wow, double one Oh Ouch. God that hurt. Ouch. That sucks. Alright. Uh he's gonna swing again. Wait, you get to oh my god. This is ridiculous. Yeah, level five. Boy. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. Better. <laughs> Not much, but better. Jean Jesus. So All 18 right. to her. She is badly wounded. <laughs> uh, are you sure you don't want to talk about these papers? <laughs> Actually, no, she doesn't. She doesn't even fade. Like her eyes are are sort of like open and wide, and she's like, "Kill them!" Ah. Okay. Yeah, she's not even. You say so. Uh, let's see. Next initiative is uh, oh, the dude on the ground, and he like as you sort of come up here, he is like uh, he he looks at you and he's like tries to focus his eyes. And he's like, "Is that? I don't." I I could use some help here. Uh, Working uh, on it. Yes. Then from the rafters of this place, fly down these three. Why do I identify these creatures? These Little are easy. Pigs. Yes. Uh, ID ID ID. With wings. It's crazy. A flying snake. 
Yes. They swarm down and attack uh, Cole, I guess. And sure here. These guys are going to attack you, Cole, and kill you. You're dead. Dead, I tell you. As these uh, flying have definitely snakes. Definitely a much better, better chance to hit me. Swarm, My AC is only 16 right now. Swarm around you. Uh, they get a... Oh, flyby. So they sort of fly down, attack you, and... Ooh, plus six. These guys are actually... All right, all right, here we go. Well, first snake comes down and... Ooh. Yeah, that hits. Actually hits. All right. Uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this takes some time to bite you and like, ah! Uh, and it flies back um, sort of out of range. Uh, second snake is going to attack you as well. Cole. No. And that one flies up out here. And the third snake attacks you, Cole. Uh, boom. Oh, another hit. Uh-oh. All right. More damage. All right, seven more damage. Um, and uh, this snake also flies out of range <laughs> over here. So these snakes are up near the near the ceiling, which is reachable, which is in five feet. So if you want to attack them, that's fine. Um, all right, so the snakes attack. Uh, do 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 do. That takes us to or death. Uh oh, or death. All righty. Cole still looks all right. He'd be fine. He'd be fine. He'd be fine. Um. So the first thing I want to do is uh, how much movement I got? Thirty. Yeah. All right. So we gonna get up in this bad boy right here. 10, 15, 20. Uh. Uh, we'll move here and then um actually let me see is that new mementos per favor per favor what per favor mm -hmm. okay favor, yeah cool please. that's good all right so i will Okay, so that's five feet. Okay, so I will actually take that extra five feet and boom, yeah. And then uh, <clears throat> I can do a spell and a cantrip, right? Well, uh, as long as the spell is bonus action. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, a yeah, yeah. All right, so then I wheel. Let me see. That's an action. So then. Yeah, that's a bonus section. All right. So then he is going to. He's just going to yell heal at uh, Cole and he's going to do healing word. So. Let me boom and heal mother. So that's so, yeah, five. You get like five points of heal. Oh, yeah. That fucking sucked. But that was something, though. Um, and so then after that, he's going to look up at the little bat things. Mm. And he is going to grab his holy symbol. And he is just going to look at them and say, burn. Uh-oh. And he is going to cast Word of Radiance. Is that a single... So, that is a that hits everything around him. Yeah, it's an action and uh, oh. each creature of your choice <laughs> that you can see within five feet of me. Poor snakes. All right. So, mm -hmm. Since I am past level five, they take 2d6 radiant damage if I hit. Mm -hmm. So they have to make a con save. Um, all right, let's do one for both. Um, 
Easy enough. Uh, do, 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 I'll do. only accept it if they both fail. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll do, one, we'll, do, we'll do two. We'll do two. One, two. Oh, kidding. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Well, they both fail. Yeah. All right. There, there you go. 2D6 to right, so both. 2D6. Oh, they could possibly theoretically demo. survive this. Maybe. Um, Possible. Let me see. Can I just do it from the spell? Uh, wait, can I edit that to make it 2D6? No. Out of here. I guess I just roll it twice. Whoop, whoop. Woo! <laughs> 11 damage, baby. Yeah. Mm. Okay. That is. Uh, uh, they just so, ignite with radiant flame. Oh, yeah. That is. Um, bye bye. Like they get burnt to crisps. <laughs> These two sort of smoldering husks or radiantly smoldering husks of uh, of snakes sort of land on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they were murdered. They had like six hit points each, so they got oh, well. <laughs> yeah, murdered pretty, well, well, murdered pretty well, solidly. Not. You like your snakes extra extra crispy? Extra, I do. You all right? Anything else? Oh, that's that. Yeah, no, that's my turn. That's uh, all that goodness. All right. Um, let's see. Bonus. All right. So this uh, cl- this person. Is going to this color up person? <laughs> All right. Uh, she casts a spell on uh, Cole. She's going to cast a sacred flame on Cole. That's a deck save, right? Uh, it is a deck save. Yes. Oh, okay. So, um, okay, so no damage on that. And then she uses her bonus spell, um, bonus action to cast, um, and she really hopes this works, Sanctuary. So she casts a secondary spell, and then she moves to run up the stairs. So, cool. Can I... Can I- do the wisdom save for uh opportunity exactly attack? wisdom save for the opportunity attack <sighs> i was really hoping i'll just get work. another 19 on the opportunity attack I yeah guess. i was really hoping that would work for her and i threw in the <laughs> she's still alive 11, 11 more damage. uh-oh where do you think you're going uh, wait, so 18, uh, holy shit, she actually is alive, okay, barely, you're like, ah! and she's like, limping, she's like, I'm going where I need to go, uh, let's see, 5, 15, let's go up 10, um, alright, she is out of sight, but yeah, wow, cripple, like, wow, she is barely, barely alive. Uh, man, sanctuary. I thought was my best chance for her. I really did. Uh, <laughs> Zavrowski, your turn. All right. Uh, bu- 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 bu. Hmm. Jake, you're gonna be next. Though I'll get to go mm-hmm. before you. Yeah, yeah. I'm watching. Am I able to place this such a way that I don't hit Jake and I hit those three? Those three? Yeah. Yeah, sure. That seems easy enough. Yeah, why not? Right. Make uh, what is it? <laughs> con saves for those three, the snake, and one, Uh-oh. two. Are right, we casting? As a sharp trilling noise starts ringing very loudly in that spot and starts and the rafters start kind of splintering apart Uh-oh. as shatter is exploding these folks uh oh all right so the snake failed it's bad news for the snake uh acolyte con save boom boom that's three failures Both fa- yeah all fail yeah all right so sometimes the dice just don't <laughs> support what you want to oh. do 
Sometimes the dice don't quite. Oh, they don't. Do all that. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. All right. <laughs> all right. And then he walks in the room and he's. You should, you should lay down your arms. Your ritual is over. Um. Okay. They. Um. The first one looks at you and says, "You have assaulted us." Die! And this acolyte <laughs> runs at uh, Cole. Rawr! Cole. Uh. Oh. Oh. Wait. He can actually. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. I like that. All right, that's good. That's good. All right, he is uh he's actually going to attack you, Cole. With a club. Oh, hits with a club. Oh, how much wait, I didn't think I would do that. Actually, what's a club do for damage? Hey, they got a hit. Damn. I mean, dude, it's like come on. Here you go. How Cole, much take, does this do? I, take two. I don't think I get this far. Cole takes a great surprise. Um and then this actually he actually casts a uh, a spell. Wait, what is it? Uh the same spell that the other person cast. As a bonus action, he casts sanctuary. Sanctuary! Uh, next acolyte is the same thing. This one actually. What, what was that? I don't know. Yeah. What was he saying? Oh, Bane. This one actually charges across at Zavrosky, who uh, is clearly the person who did that. Oh, no. And uh, his friends, and now he's hitting, trying to hit me. <laughs> oh wait, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. This is a bonus. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, this one actually looks at you, and he's like, Burn! Burn! And he casts Sacred Flame at you, Zavrosky. I'm going to need you to make a deck. Okay, yeah. And that doesn't work. Um, and then he also casts Sanctuary. These as chicken as, shit. Yes. Well, they don't want to get attacked. And um, he will actually move over here to take a defensive position. Um, protecting this person on the floor. No, no, the person oh. on the floor. He seems to be like sort of moving over there to keep you away from the person on the floor. All right, Jake. Okay, so we're like they're they're not surrendering. They're not giving up. There's no. These guys are like wide-eyed, crazy, Camp Davidian. We are going to. Go down fighting to the death. Already drunk the Kool Aid. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I mean, they're just, yeah. All right. Jake will draw two daggers out. Uh oh. Move on over here and uh, target this uh, accolade of Bane 4. And uh, try and slice him up with a little dagger. I'm missing any eight misses. I think you have to make wisdom. <laughs> Oh, do I? With the sanctuary spell? Yeah. If if you don't oh, okay. make, if you don't make the save, you can't attack. Right, right. I can't attack that person, right? Right. Okay, so gotta make a wisdom save then first. Yep. I was waiting for confirmation from Roy. I failed the wisdom save, All right, so, so I can't attack save, this guy. So the attack doesn't even matter. So yeah. Sure. So then, but I'll continue to move if I can't attack that guy. I can still attack somebody else, right? Yeah, theoretically, sure. I can move around to this guy. Do I have to, this guy also has? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to make another wisdom saving throw. Yes. Maybe a little bit better this time. A 14. That makes it. Okay, All and right. then I will attack. All right, well, I am going to keep your initial attack roll. I think that that... That's fair, that's fair. I'll make yeah. my second attack then. All right. A 16. That is a big hit. Sneak attack. Oh no. Oh no. Sneak oh, no. Uh oh. Uh oh. And sneak stabs him in the back with the sneak attack. So that's uh, 10 damage total. Seven more. That is Acolyte 3. Oh, 10 total? 
Ten total, yeah. Three from the dagger and then seven from the sneak. That is it. He's out. He falls to the ground. I ain't cold the whole way. All right. Okay. Anything else, Jake? That's my turn, yeah. All right. Uh, oh, shit. Back to the top. Back to Cole. Um, Cole is going to uh, run as far up the stairs as he can. All right. Um, <clears throat> let's see. You can do that. Acolyte of Bane 4. Let him swing. Chooses not to attack you. Uh, he lets you go. She, he, he lets you go. And you find yourself up at the... Oh, hang on. You find yourself... Um, let me just do the little... On this, at the top of the stairs, next to that person again. That's sort of the top of the stairs view of this uh, tower. Sweet. And where do you think you are going, madam? No response? Good night. She's... Swing! <laughs> she still have sanctuary or no? She does have sanctuary, actually. Didn't I pass it, though? Or do you got to do it every time you try to attack? I think sanctuary is strong enough that you do it every time you try to hit them. That's a good okay. question. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's, it's sanctuary is every time you try to hit them, I think. All right, it's, I'll buy uh, that. W wisdom, right? Wisdom save, yep. You and your 19s. Come on. All so, right, so your 19 so saves. Does a 20 hit her? Your 20 hits. Yes. All right, fine. She's dead. She has one health. She has literally one. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I, I think I bisect her. Yes. Uh, she had one, actually one health left. Um, all right. Uh, and uh, for the rest of my turn, I'm going to be searching her body and the upstairs area. Or okay. if I have to wait till next turn, I'll do that too. Sure. Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're dead. Uh, you guys can... Well... <clears throat> okay, so Ordath, uh, let, let, let's actually go through this a little bit. Ordath, what are you, uh, what's your plan for the next, your next turn? You're muted. Yeah, as I was talking, I realized it. So the acolyte and the unidentified creature are still there chilling, all gravy and whatnot, right? Well, it's a human. Yeah, the unidentified creature is a human. It's a okay. person. Yeah. Gotcha. So they're both rare in the fight, right? No. No. The uh, the human, Shan, okay. is actually Shan. shackled and lying on the ground. Um, and th that person was in the middle of the four these four acolytes <clears throat> that were sort of like chanting around him. Oh, thank you for the raid. What? Raid time. Boop, 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 All right, boop. so I'm going to move over yes, here. And then for this acolyte, I will... Wait, what level am I? Do it. Do, do clerics get double attacks? I don't think no. so. No, they get a Yeah, okay. So then I'm going to swing my mace. I'm going to swing the mace. Got sanctuary still, like a chicken. Oh, yeah, so I got to do a wisdom save, right? Uh, but you're clear, you get the wisdom check. Wait, how, what the hell? Oh, there it is. Saves wisdom saves 40. Boom, that's a 21. I think that does that. Woo -hoo! So I get right on through in that there. And then, uh, where the fuck? I'm trying to find my, my weapon attack. There it is. Sorry. All right, so for the mace, uh, Boom, that's an 18. Does that hit? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. a D6 plus three. <clears throat> that is going to be four damage. And then... Uh, oh, not dead yet. <laughs> shit, I, I win. That was a... Fuck, I forgot. That's a uh, bone. That's an action. Oh, wait, she's bone. actually Damn. dead. Oh, man. Okay, so... Actually, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's all I can do because I, I was going to do uh, something else, but no. 
because yeah, that's an action, not not a bonus. All right. Oh wait, is sacred flame? No, goddamn. No. All right, yeah, no. I don't think there's any bonus action uh, attack cantrip. That'd be OP. Yeah. Did you did eight damage to this uh, acolyte. No, I did four. Four. A hot four. Hot four. All right, Zavrosky. Zavrosky twirls out his rapier. You sure you're not going to put that weapon to? Ah! All right, and then he goes to stand. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? Okay. <laughs> yeah, these are like like wide-eyed raving lunatics. It's, it's crazy. Sound effects. Damn. And he just. <sighs> Why do you have car sounds for you? I don't understand. <laughs> These sounds are confusing me. <laughs> because it says Bane. The, the, they're, they're triggered by words in the chat. And every time Bane gets oh. put in the chat, it, it triggers the sound effect for the Bane spell. So... <laughs> All right, I gotta, I gotta change these. Uh, I gotta change these guys' names. Okay. All right. All right, fine. Uh, fine. And then he's going over to this guy to ask him if he's okay. Yeah. So he kind of looks up. He's like, oh, God. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. I um. He's like listening. Like he closes his eyes for a second. He's like listening. He's like trying to shake this. He puts his hands over his ears. He's like, oh God, man, that stuff really gets in your head. Oh, gee. Um, uh, yeah, I remember this guy's like like shackled to the floor. Um, to the floor, okay. Or, or yeah, so up up top. Um, Jake makes sure that Zav has this guy, and or that's a healer. So, yeah, thumbs up, and he, then he follows I mean, up with Cole because the guy that Cole has the, the, the magic lock picks to <laughs> unshack a pass would be useful. So but... Cole, Cole, there are <laughs> um... both both the guys with lock picks are upstairs. <laughs> Ooh, that's actually Shackles perfect. break. You can just break them with whatever. I mean, Ardath is Ardath. pretty strong. <laughs> yep. Ardath can break. Can I, can I try and break these shackles? It's more with fun that way. With my strong hands. You, strong of course you can. Use your yeah. mace. Use your make mace that, a, make that a strength check, sure. Yeah. 4,382. <laughs> <laughs> my hands are covered in butter. Oh, buddy. Ow, oh, ow. Buddy. He, he actually tries to break. He's like, ow, ow, ow. Mm. I got him back in before I tried it. Cold. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Freeze <laughs> I got a splinter. <laughs> um, all right, so you find um, on this person, you find two things of note. Uh, one is a, um, a small key. And one is a uh, an, an amulet that she wears, and it's an amulet that has a uh, it, it's 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 actually the flying snake symbol that you're used to, but the, it's a a flying snake in in a uh, 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 hexagon. Okay. Yep, and it's an amulet that she actually wears on her. So th those two things you can have. Wait. Uh, it upon not finding anything else on her hey she came up here for a reason oh and uh, also <clears throat> and in the room okay so let's just cut to the chase so so upstairs um things of interest <clears throat> are uh she has this amulet and she has a key <clears throat> and there is a um there is actually a um hexagon drawn on the ground like uh, sort of an inscribed hexagon on the on the ground in this room okay uh not knowing what to do cole's just going to turn on magic eye see if he sees anything magic in the room uh, there is um oh wait, i'm sorry there's also a uh a crumpled note that you find in the room uh, it's sort of thrown in the corner of the room but it's a, a crumpled piece of paper that you open up um so let me give you the uh, magic eyes. Magic eyes tells you that the amulet is magical and the hexagon inscribed upon the ground is also magical. Um, there's, a, there's a clear, the hexagon on the ground and the hexagon on the amulet. Um, this and was probably her, her way out. 
Um, <clears throat> and the um, what else? Oh, that's it. That's it. Yeah. So that's that's what magic tells you. The the hexagon is scrapped in the ground, and the amulet are both magical. Um, the uh, what the hell else? What else? Should, why am I? Why is my brain dying? Come on, brain. Yeah, it's that old age. It catches yeah. up with you. What else did she have? She had the... Key? Amulet? The key. The key is not magical. Um, there is a, a uh, crumpled note that you guys find, and if you open it, uh, the note says... It says this. Wall of text. It says this. Six cent. I have nothing but contempt for what you have done. I don't know what foul rites you hope to perform, but the more traditional rites of Brindle Alley would surely have wrung any information this broadsheet publisher might have had. Nonetheless, Manchun's word is my command, and so I present to you Sean Chin. May you choke on him. Averine. All right. Uh, I'll put that in the pocket. Don't recognize any of those names, mm -mm. but mm -mm. we will soon find out. Their leads. Mm -hmm. All right, downstairs, as you guys are doing that. So downstairs, this uh, prisoner, or, uh, yeah, he, he's sort of shackled, and he's, he's really dazed. So apparently the, um, they, they were performing some sort of ritual up, upon this person, um, and uh, he, well, let, let's just pick this up in, in role play. So he, he's sort of laying on the ground. He's like, oh, um, yes. Ah, oh, jeez, it's that's that man. That's not really gets in your head. Um, I suppose you could let me out of these uh, these uh, shackles, maybe. Yeah. Do you have a key for that? Did Did the lady have a key? <laughs> if, I, uh, if I had the key, I let myself have out. Way, have we made our way uh, downstairs yet? You can, sure, sure. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Cole will see them just like staring at the chains, and he'll be like. See if this fits, and toss it to Zavrosky. Zavrosky will try it. Works perfectly. Um, so yeah, so you can like unlock this the, the the padlock that holds all these manacles in place, um, free him out, and he, he kind of gets out and he, he sits up and he's you know he's just sitting in his uh, in his loincloth, right? He's just sitting there if, and he's if he's he'll just... accept it, Zavrosky will take some of the warm clothes off a dead body to give to him. Yeah, no, he will actually, because he's free, as he's sitting there, he's like. Like once he gets up, he's like he starts actually shivering because he's he's basically naked. Um, and and you guys are all cold. Like I said, you guys are like you've been in the freezer compartment of whatever restaurant you've ever worked in. The Vrosky's pressed the taking the blood off some of the bodies and the clothes. Yep. For himself and for anyone else that is fine with that, we'll start wearing these warm clothing that they had. Oh, much better. So much better. So much better, Zabrowski. Do, do you know why or what they were trying to do to you, friend? What oh. is your name? Oh, I'm, I'm Shan. I'm Shan. Oh, do I know? Do I know? And boy, am I going to write about this. And he, he seems to have sort of collected himself. And he's kind of like shaking himself out. And he's like, yes, I, um, <clears throat> I'm, a, I'm a writer. I'm a writer for the second biggest long paper here in, uh, in, in Waterdeep. They they oh. were trying to get me to to write something different and the the stuff they were telling and he seems like he's like God it's so fuzzy it's so fuzzy but they I uh, I can't quite I can't quite remember what they were but but yes they were trying to get me to stop writing what I was writing and to write something different um, it's a good thing I held out until you guys got here um, I uh, who wait who who are you guys who, who I. How do I, like, what am I? Uh, uh, we, are, we are the RIP. <clears throat> the what? The Ritual Inspection Police. <laughs> uh, affiliates of the Greyhands. The Greyhands? Ah, oh, she said, oh, I should have known. She does. Vajra, she knows. The Black Staff, she takes care of this town. She would know if, if the writers were, oh, and you see him like sort of like going through his head as he he can't quite speak as fast as his mind is working and he's like oh yes yes uh, yeah yeah <sighs> oh. well I'll tell you what there's gonna be an article tomorrow front page 
this will be the big news how the black staff came and foiled the efforts of these ritualists and there are more and more of these ritualists here in town all these devil worshippers are sprouting up everywhere what's going on in this town hey, could you slow down just a little bit and explain why they were doing what they were doing to you they were trying to get you to write something else where I think so. Like, what I think were you so. writing it's... before that they did not want written? Well, I mean, I'm just I'm a writer. I I, I, I I write. I write I write stories for for the long paper. Um and and Did you say your name was Shan Chen? Shan, yes, Shan Chen. And then kind of uh Jake will give uh Cole a look for, for Velt because I assume yeah. Cole shared the information from the note. Yeah, yeah he he's gonna give Jake a nod and, and just let the moment pass. All right. I was gonna, um, okay, because I was going to try and I'm trying to like signal like asking about like who's this man Shun guy. So Shan might have answers oh, from like okay. what's within written in on the note, right? Like who's man Shun? Hey, go ahead. Who's Everine? And okay, so I just didn't want to. Uh... Go ahead. No, no, no. So then, uh, so you know who man Shun is then? Man Shun. I well. I mean, everyone knows, who's Man, knows who Manchun is. The question I is... I personally don't, Cole. Do you know who Manchun is? Or Never that? heard the name the before. We don't oh. know who uh, Manchun is, so do you want to enlighten us, Shan? And why he might want to uh, kidnap you and cut you up in a ritual? Wait. You, th you think these are Manchun's people? I know these are Manchun's people, my friend. Oh, that makes so much sense. Well, Manchun... Why? You Oh, so we all know that Manchun, he is an, an ancient wizard, uh, uh, an ancient wizard, right? He has been alive for, for millennia, at least. And there are some who believe that he is uh, currently here in Waterdeep making a play for power, who is, um, right, okay, sure. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm not convinced that this... Anyone can live for that long, exactly. You know, so maybe this is like a legend. Maybe it's like a sort of like, you know, uh, the idea where like somebody takes the name of someone from the past. Yeah, like like the uh, Dread Pirate Roberts. Yes. Yeah. But, you know, my research, I found that, well, I don't know how much you guys are in tune with the sort of underbelly of Waterdeep, but there are multiple thieves guilds here in Waterdeep. No, multiple. Sure. That's true. No. no, it's true. I think there are, and there are two gangs. There are the Xanathar, and everyone knows this, right? There's a Xanathar, and then there are the Zentarum. But what I think, what I think, is that the Zentarum are not all actually unified under one Zentarum leader. I think there are multiple Zentarum leaders. I think one of those Zentarum leaders is someone proposing to be this Manchun person. That's what I think. And the other leader, well, I, I don't know who that is just yet, but but this and this, these guys, this tells me I'm on track. They wouldn't have kidnapped me. They wouldn't have taken me here and tried to get me to write something different if I wasn't on the path. Friends, I think I've got this figured out. I hey, think this is the man's shoes. fantastic, uh, but uh, in your writing? Yeah. <clears throat> please. Do not mention our involvement. Uh, <coughs> yes, you were rescued by some some agents uh, for good, but uh, specifics would be helpful to not be in whatever you write. We hmm. don't want them to to know who's on their heels, right? Yes, yes. No, I understand. We we all know. We all know. And he's like like. Us writers, we know. The Grey Hands operate quietly. I got you. I got you. Yeah, no, 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 no problem, no problem. But you I don't must... need to put Vajra's name front and center or anything. No, yeah, no, Agents no. for Good is a, is a great <clears throat> name. No, I can leave all this out, in fact. I can leave all this out. Um, that's, so that's not a problem. What, what were you writing before that they captured you for? Oh, well, I mean, I... Who can what say? What have you been working on? 
I've been working on this. I've been working on uncovering this. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. These are the gangs that are in this city. I don't know if the city guard knows about it, but there are gangs, acts, active gangs, people, yes, coordinated they, they... crime in the city going on right now. Now, I'm not sure. I'm not sure who if all you're is aware, in on it. but these these gangs fight openly in the streets. I yes, I know. I know they do that, but people are like, oh, well, that's just this or that's just that. I'm telling you, these are organized criminal endeavors. And I don't know how high this goes because if, there's, if there are gangs in the city and those gangs are allowed to operate in the city, then who are they paying off? Who are they connected to? Huh? Huh? Who are so they connected to? You that think they 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 are uh, in cahoots with somebody in in the local government. I do, I do. How else could they just stay here? Surely the government would just squash all the gangs, right? If there were gangs, they must know people. They must know people, and that's what I've been investigating. And that's why they abducted me. I'm telling you, I'm on to something. I'm on to something. Did you find things. any connections yet? Well, no, but. Well, but keep I will. at it. Keep oh, at don't, it. Oh, don't worry. I will. I will. And you know, this guy's like, like he's got this sort of zealotry of like this sort of, you know, reporter who is like the guy yeah, throwing the, himself the dog, into uh, the, the dog with a bone. <laughs> yeah. You know, he's like, oh, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm staying on this. They thought they could take me out and they almost did. But Vajra's got my back. I mean, I mean, some I people, some force uh, let's, in, let's in the city has my names. back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Force in the city has got my back. And that's good to know, because if you know you're protected by you have no protection. some people, names. oh, yeah, that's going to make embolden me. I can. Oh, oh, hey, hey, don't get too crazy. Uh, we we're, might not be there next time. We're not going to be there all the time. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. You're not going to be well, there all Spider-Man. the time. Everybody gets one. Yeah, yeah. You're not going to be there all the time. <laughs> the no. First taste is free. I understand. I understand. Don't worry. I hear you. I will not mention any names or any connections with any of the vast magical powers that protect the city. I hear you. I understand completely what you're telling me. In a straightforward sense, don't go too deep on your own. If you think you have a lead... Where can we find you? What 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 can you put in a window or something to flag us? Put in a window to flag you. Um, I, um, I don't know. I have a, a, a I have a small office um, in our in our in our building. I, I I suppose you could come visit me there. How how could I get in touch with you if I have important information? I could bring it to you directly. Should I just go to the Black Tower straight to the Black Tower? No. We don't operate out of there. Oh, no, of course not. Uh, uh, yes, no, of course not. You would have a separate um, operation. So where, where could I go if I had to find you guys? Where could I go? Are, are, we, are we telling this guy? I mean, he, he sounds like he might be able to help us, but yeah. he also sounds like a liability. <laughs> he sounds like he's going to get himself killed, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> no oh, comment. No. Auntie Ruth! No. Uh. <laughs> Not again. So. Never again. Uh, are, 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 uh, Cole will, like, turn to the group. Are, are we going to say something? Hey, hey, hey. He, he gives a hand signal Maybe. for. <laughs> Do we want to have him drop a note off at a shop near our place? Oh, that's. Uh... That uh, that is uh, that's a great idea. Maybe maybe the the bookshop right across the way, or is that too close? Probably the bookshop. The uh, botanist is a bit too nosy for me. Exactly. <laughs> the dragonborn would would just hold on to it. I think. I, I like this idea. Uh, and then we'll. We'll tell him about the uh, the bookstore. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, that's leave cool. a, yes. Leave a note there when you have something, and we'll come meet you at your location. So if you'd give us your location, 
We don't want to give out our base of operations. You should I understand. Yes. Understand. Yes. Yes. No. 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 I totally understand. Um. Yeah. 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 Troll Skull Alley. Uh. Bookstore. Yes. I got it. Okay. You got it. If I need to get in touch with you, I'll drop a line there. Um. Until then. Nerd out. No. That's not. No. <laughs> Uh, oh, un- wait. Oh, my oh. bad. So, so, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Seven minutes early, man. <laughs> Until then, um, you just keep an eye out for me. I know that I know that the I know that black staff's not like looking out for me personally, but you know, you know we're all on the same page here. We're all on the same page here. Oh yeah. Thank you. Yes, all right, friends. I, remember <clears throat> what we told you. Yes, yes. Don't go overboard. No, 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 don't worry. But but this story must get out. You have done me a great service, friends, and I, I do indeed, truly, owe you my life. Um, Shen Shen is in your debt. Well, uh, we all should leave before uh, the guard comes <clears throat> and finds these bodies. All right, so it is freezing inside this place. Um, you have found a key, which you found the use for. Great. Uh, you have a medallion. You have a um, hexagon inscribed upon the floor in the upstairs uh, of this place, and it's once, freezing. Fur- once this guy freezing. leaves, uh, uh, Cole is going to In fact, he, like, uh, he actually goes to one of these guys, and uh, he actually goes and finds his clothing. Like, there's a, a pile of his belongings. Like, oh, mm. yes. He puts his clothes back on, picks up his stuff, and, and heads out. He's gone. Uh, Cole will uh, share the note and the two uh, things that he found upstairs uh, with the rest of the group. All right. Uh, it, the, there is an inscription on the floor. Uh, it's in the same shape as this medallion. Uh, they are both magic. Uh, I don't know what they do, but they, they are I'll magic. look at the medallion here. And uh, Cole will hand it over. And he's going to cast Identify. Oh. All right, uh, this medallion is a, um, it's a keystone. Um, this medallion serves, uh, <laughs> so if you cast identify on the medallion and you cast identify on the, um, the magical hexagon, hexagonal ring up on the uh, second floor, the uh, medallion is a key, and this medallion basically is a. Uh, hang on, what's the. <clears throat> oh, I caught her at the back door. <laughs> caught her at the back door. Mm. Caught her in the back door. That's, that's what he. Never mind. Uh, uh, that's exactly what I said. <laughs> and I meant it. <laughs> Where is my. What the hell? Sorry. Um, I cannot find, but I called this thing. I mean, I may change this terminology, but yes, this is this medallion is basically a keystone. It allows you access into. Um, Yeah, it serves two purposes. Um, I guess I didn't know if I would give you these both. So it serves two purposes. It um, There is a shield that this, wearing this medallion will allow you to walk through a shield. A, there's a shielded area. So it grants you access <clears throat> through a shielded area. And it also grants you access to a teleportation ring. Um, the teleportation ring the hex the hexagonal ring upstairs is in fact a teleportation ring and this medallion um allows you to activate that teleportation ring and step through it excellent sorry i, I just I, 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 I wasn't sure what to say about the shield i really was trying to figure out let's see what the shield but um yeah it's basically a key it's basically a key um 
Is it only going to work with one person, or does it seem like it would allow multiple people? Well, if you so if you activate the teleportation circle, <clears throat> um, can anybody cast teleportation? Does anybody have? No, that's too high level magic. Or roll me some arcana, I guess. I, I, I can roll arcana. I don't know oh, how good it's going to be. It'd be hard if you if you don't know this spell. If yeah, anybody has I'll, a spell, roll, if anybody has teleportation circle in their spell list, then I'll give it no, to you. No, I easy. don't know anything about it. <clears throat> it is it, it is a bard spell at level. It is a bard level spell. Five, okay, so fine, spell. yeah. So a teleportation circle basically um, allows you to activate it, and generally it stays active for one minute, and then right. anyone who goes into that area gets teleported to the destination. So you don't know where the destination is, but Based on your knowledge of that and your identify of this medallion, you think that, yes, you could activate that teleportation circle, hexagon, um, and it would stay active for one minute. And anyone who walked into the hexagon during that time would end up at the other end of the teleportation. Is there anything we can copy the teleportation hexagon onto? Yeah, like, is, is there any, it's like, literally a hexagon. or anything there? It's literally a hexagon that's engraved into the the stone floor of the of the second floor like right, it's just, I, just well i think with <clears throat> teleportation circle you can like learn the sigil eventually but if i were to draw this for someone else would they be able to potentially learn from that well couldn't we just go back to the tower and use the sigil that was already there what are you trying to find out john um, if if we can get someone else to learn the sigil to fi teleport to the location that this one takes someone to, as in get another high level mage friend <laughs> in a more secure location to get yes. us through. I don't. I don't. Um, I don't know. I'm not even saying that will happen. Just yeah. I don't. Of... I don't think so. Like the, from from what okay. you know for now. This is basically a, a teleportation circle is just like a, a doorway, right? It's a doorway that okay. leads somewhere. Um, you don't know where this doorway leads because you don't know whatever the, 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 the lore of this door. Um, but um, the amulet you have is actually a key, and the key basically opens that door for one minute, and you can step okay. through. So currently you don't know exactly where that leads, but y you, know, you have some ideas based on who you're – dealing with and yep. where this tower is so you probably have a pretty solid idea for where where this is going to take you if that There's makes sense the, beast. the next belly of the beast <laughs> maybe who wants to go on a field trip which maybe we can convince Alona to come on with next mm -hmm. time maybe you can um, so the group has indeed uh, they have found the, well, they've, they've had the Stone of Galore, and they have found an eye of the stone and recently used an eye. Um, Jake Dean Melshimber is currently attuned to this massively powerful artifact um, that they've only partially awakened. They've um, continued their quest and are currently have currently found an outpost for... Um, the Zentarum, the Manchun Zentarum, Manchun being some sort of legendary wizard who may or may not be real. We are not really sure just yet. Um, they have found a teleportation device and a key to activate this teleportation device. I don't know where the teleportation device goes. Okay, I do. I actually, I actually do know where the teleportation device goes, but if you want to I'm know not telling you. If you want to know where this teleportation device goes, you're going to have to tune into us next week. Because next week, Illuminum is going to be back. We're going to, I don't know, are you guys going to go through here? I don't know. Maybe. I don't have any idea. They might. Um, if you want to find out, come see us next week. Chat us up on Discord. All the links below are our socials, um, Twitter, Facebook, YouTubes and uh, and Discord. Discord is definitely the favorite. That's where we hang out. We chit chat on a daily basis. So if you want to come hang out with us, definitely come down there. Um, otherwise, tune into us a week from today, and we'll find out where this portal leads, or will we? Until then. No. 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 No.